Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to another video for TGTV. Uh, again, this time for the new Boss GX100. This is just a first basic video for Tone Studio on your PC, just showing you how to start to put a chain together. Not in terms of sound at this stage, but just the, um, the ins and outs of it, you know, how you move stuff in, how you take stuff out, how you change the layout, that kind of stuff. I'll be doing another video of uh, using two chains where you've got two channels on the go, but this is just a basic, okay. What I would advise with this unit is to set yourself up a template patch where it's just got the basics on it. Because when you load in a, uh, an initialized patch, sometimes you might feel, depending on how co complex your tone is going to be, that you've got a lot of stuff in there that you, you kind of straight away, you have to drag it out and take it out. So I would say what I've done at the moment with this new unit, I'm still getting used to it, just to make myself a one chain patch and the two chain patch as well. So here we're just looking at the one chain patch. As I say in the other video, I'm going to show you two chains and how to work with those. But this is just some of the um, extreme basics just to start with, okay. So first of all, I'm just going to show you how to, um, just, by just using your left mouse, you can select these different blocks that are there. So just using the left button on your mouse, dead easy. And as soon as you click on it, you get white uh, just around the outside and it just shows you all the stuff within it. Okay, so you've just got three there. And um, there's reverb and there's volume there. And I'm just going to show you how to drag one of these effects along the top. Now you've got all your effects along the top. You've got all your guitar stuff. Then you've got a gap and then you've got your lovely bass stuff there as well. And as you always find with this boss stuff, it starts with uh, comp. And then you've got the drive stuff. And then you've got amps, EQs, loads and loads of modulations some weird and wacky effects, then you've got all your delays and just reverb and all your kind of wah and pedal stuff at the end and then some of your non-effect stuff there, including an important one you're going to be using a lot, which is the div mix, which is the splitter where you can put more than one chain, which you can use the foot switches to select. Okay, so don't forget that one's located there, as well as the important noise gate and your foot volume, which I'm sure you might be using quite a bit as well. So it's just um, it's just a little tab along here. So you just kind of left click on the gray tab and just move it from side to side. And you can just quickly find, find where you need to be. So I'm just going to show you how to drop an effect into the chain. I'm going to pick one an OD. So you just left click on your mouse, hold it down, drag where it wants to be in the chain. It's going to suggest a gap for you to drop it into. I've still got my left button and my mouse held down. And you just let go. And it turns it on straight away. You can turn it on and off within there. And that's that drive pedal. And you just select, uh, as I'll cover it in other videos, which one you want to use from there, all that kind of stuff. I'll just show you another one. I'm just going to uh, grab a delay. Let's get a nice analog old school delay. And just left click on it, just drag it across, wait for it to just a, a place where you want it to be. Obviously, you can pick that. You can uh, put it to the front, you can put it to the end. We're just going to put it just after the amp and just let go. Now, say you've changed your mind, say I want to use a different delay, instead of say I want to use a space echo, you can just left click on it and it just highlights it white to select it, just delete it, takes it away, and we want a space echo. Just gonna left click on it, hold it down, just take it into the chain, and then let it go, and there it is. So I'm gonna do a few more of these, but that's just show you the extreme basics of setting up, starting to set up a patch, okay. One more thing I'll just show you before I go is just how to move a block. So you just use your mouse, you just get over the one that you want to move and you just left click it, hold it down and just drag. Oops, let me just do that again. Uh, what foot volume? I was going to take it to the front of the chain and just let go once you're happy with where you want it to be. I'll just show you going back the other way. Hover over it and just do left click, hold it down. I'm going to take it to the end of the chain and just let just left, let go of the left click on your mouse and it's there. But I hope you find that helpful. Uh, please hit the subscribe button if you like these videos. There'll be loads more of these over the next few months. I'll be doing a lot of work uh, with some artist packs about two or three a month with this unit. And uh, on the first of each month, starting on the first of May, I'll be doing a free five tone pack with five iconic tones each month. So uh, that's for at least for the next six months I'll be doing that. So check that out as well. And uh, please look at my other videos, but thank you for listening and have a fantastic day. See you later. Bye.